So welcome to the white carpet here on Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Gladys Osei Oredu and it always is a pleasure when I have to come your way and tell you all that has been happening in the world of entertainment and of course get to do a few hangouts with some sellers and of course industry stakeholders and of course uh, when I know that you will be contributing to whatever issue we are discussing of course we cannot get to the end of the show if we do not Talk about the uh, non-performance of some artists. Okay, what do I mean by that? The fact that he did not take his rehearsals, but wanted to be on stage to perform. I'm talking about Yapono. Yapono was on stage during the premiere and concert of Pastor Paul, and he was not allowed to perform because he did not take his rehearsals. Meanwhile, viewers who were there for the premiere of Pastor Paul, uh, Pastor Paul of course, uh, the first American Nollywood movie, were confused, absolutely. But director says that is the whole idea, to get the viewers confused. But of course, I'll tell you the other bit that he might not have added. And what else um, would you contribute to? Uh, please bring in your comments because Bukon Banku has been telling us a lot Throughout the week, Bukom Banku, Bukom Banku here, Bukom Banku there, talking about Anyami, his latest track that he says is going to be um, the, a, a talk of town come 2016 when it picks the artist of the year. He picks the artist of the year for that song, Anyami. And um, have you ever followed him to know how many wives or children have out his family life? We'll be telling you that more um, right here on the white carpet. And the reason why he could not complete his education and ended up a boxer without education we we'll tell you because he's been revealing to us what exactly happened and of course no tribe has threatened uh, award organizers for not giving out their reward ever since they were no, they were adjudged winners of the gospel artists of the year they have threatened they have given a two-week ultimatum if charter house and Kantanka does not give them their car, well, uh, a word to the wise is enough. Well, we'll tell you a bit more right here by Kind Ketsi, Etel, and uh, Optimal Hair Relaxer. We are coming your way with a white carpet. My name is Gladys Osei Uredu. <laughs> The White Carpet is brought to you by Airtel, the smartphone network. You're so welcome to The White Carpet. If you have just joined us, of course, you can always be part of the show. The number is 0267844024. You can WhatsApp to me. A few people were WhatsApping um, some videos, funny videos that got me a bit off you. Well, for a moment, I thought I was just glued to my phone. <laughs> Forgive me. But um, have you ever imagined when um, legends meet on one stage, um, both young and old? Of course, I'm talking about living legends. If you haven't experienced that before, then today on the right, a white carpet, I want to do you the honors to have an idea what it looks like, what it feels like, how it sounds like when legends meet on one stage. And that is just what happened at the African Legends Night last Saturday. When music legends meet on one stage, one cannot expect anything different apart from dancing and dancing and dancing. Exactly what the former first lady, Nana Kunedu Ajman Rollins, and some other patrons did on the dance floor. The youngest of the legends, Trigmatic, proved to the patrons why he definitely had to be on the bill. The 
there's so much inspiration from the man and um, I can't see myself doing anything less and uh, yes I think from my energy my strength my power everything whatever I have I owe it to him and uh, he's inspired me so much what do you smoke or sniff before you get on stage I smoke a lot of God <laughs> Dead to play Ambule took patrons back to the Simguadu days and made sure patrons would not remain in their seats. <laughs> When you get the crowd moving and things like that, then it motivates you also to, you know, counter, you know, the moves that is going on. Because many people dance, but they dance differently. Then the francophone man came on with his francophone flavor and twerkins. <laughs> Then the serious man came on stage and the whole crowd danced and danced till the early eyes of the following day. Well, so you have a good idea now how it feels like next time don't miss such an opportunity when you hear legends are coming close to you and they are all going to be on one stage to give off their best what the best that you know them for uh, it was a fantastic moment i had fun mm -hmm. but uh, if you realized uh jenny play albule during his performance had just a few legs on the dance floor well, I sought to ask him how that made him feel during his performance, and he had this to say. I know you've done this for so many years, but how does it feel like when you perform a good song, danceable song, and people are sitting watching you? Uh, sometimes um, it becomes, you know, something else. Especially when you're performing and people are just sitting down and few are dancing because the interaction between you and the people that's where the motivation is you know but it's all the same um it's okay you will still whether they sit down or not you still have to keep on doing your best out there does it ever make you feel nervous that mm, could i be doing something wrong no no i've had these experiences for for so long a time yeah some likes to sit and enjoy some like to move their feet also so Technically, if you look at those that were sitting down, you see that everybody was moving and things like that. So um, it replaces, you know, the dance moves. Well, experience always plays a role, a comfortable role, I should say. So he says it's, it's normal. If you don't dance, at least he still knows how else to make it appealing and make it exciting. All right, so um, Katal the Genesis um, came up and it was the talk of town, um, none compared to any other movie because it is the latest that is rocking uh, our cinemas and you've got to see that movie. Just the trailer will whet your appetite so much you ask yourself, why haven't I looked for this movie? Well, today I am telling you it is the movie to watch out for. And you know who it features? Well, it is the first action movie Ghana has had. Okay, so that is what we're talking now. I have been joined by a guest, but uh, one of the casts. But before I review who the cast is, um, who was in the action movie, uh, just take a snippet of the trailer. When we come back, I'll let you know who I am talking to tonight on the white carpet. The cocaine industry in this country has painted a disturbing image about Ghana globally. They have infected our system with bribery and corruption. We're going to send them a message. We aren't asleep. So are you in or out? You're going to pay for this. Okay, people. Let's get back to work. You will face the full force of the law. Are you sure he's not playing us? Tracking devices. 
I'm Special Agent Sifu Bosun of the NIU. You led yesterday's operation. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, the state will give you one. Well, that is Cartel the Genesis action reward. I have Pusha, oh, Pusha, one time. Thanks for do for love. And now he is, um, did you, did you, okay, so hi, Pusha, welcome to the white carpet. Hi, I'm hi, just still hi. in a hurry to find out more about the action. Right. That, were you the main character? Uh, I was one of the main. The one right. of the main. Yeah. So definitely you were involved in the action. Precisely, I was. Well, how was the experience like? Well, it was. It was an experience, you know, um, you know, quite demanding uh, mm. because, you know, that, um, well, let me speak for myself. My, <laughs> my muscles and bones are not used to the action genre. Yeah. Um, you know, too much of, um, you know, the good daddy, mm. family man. Sweet you know, but, guy. And, and, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so I kind of I had, had a tough on set, you okay. know. Um, we were grilled by a professional, a stunt director from, mm. from the early school of stunt. Oh. Um, Coffee Mafo, okay. and so you know we had we had good work being done. Um, but the uh, secret is that midway through our rehearsal, I I, I sprained my back, and so uh -uh. we had to. So Obviously, you were not used to that kind of action. <laughs> you know, but it yeah. was really really um, grueling, you know. Mm. And but then um, it, it was it was fun at the end of the day. Did, did um, the accident um, actually affect the rest of the scenes you had to feature in? Well, fortunately, we it, it was rehearsal towards um, shoot, okay. so you know I had time to recover ah. before we actually started shooting. So okay. yeah, it didn't affect shooting. Anyway. Okay, um, yeah. let's let's talk about your experience on the set. It, mm. Of course, it was um, the very first attempt. So, but what do you after the final um, seeing the final output? Yeah. Um, what do you make of what you did your role? Well, I, I, I thought that it wasn't just my role, but I thought that, you know, um, the director and his team brought, brought everything together. And okay. it looked, it, it even, uh, I had to raise my eyebrows when I saw the final cut. <laughs> I, I thought, see, like, yeah. oh, okay, that, that was even better mm. than I anticipated. Yeah. And, and so I, I'm very, very pleased with mm. the work done, and especially um, the likes of Jocelyn Dumas, Prince David Osei on yeah. set, um, you know, made it even more easier for us to work. work. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased with the outcome. Mm. I see. Um, so um, you, I know, haven't attempted producing movies yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you intend to do that? Well, I, 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 I co-produced one project, oh. um, which we're still working on. Okay. So, yeah, um, give it a bit, a, bit, a, bit, a bit of time. Right? I should yeah. be patient. I'm yeah. in such a hurry. I know. <laughs> okay. For now, it's cartel. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, you had a premiere, the executive premiere. And right. now we're warming up because the general public, I'm sure, after today, will be so much in, uh, in and, and anxious to, yeah. you know, go see it. Um, what's right. up? What's next? What's up with Cartel? Well, I mean, um, it, it's supposed to be from the from the, what the producer says is mm -hmm. that it's going to be a, a four package kind mm -hmm. of thing. Um, okay. So we're going to have our sequels coming up. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the first one. It, all is looking at how the narcotics yeah. in our in our in, in, in our world, mm. part of the world, and the kind of image that it gives us, uh, this thing that it brings to us. Um, you know, the moment you 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 enter an immigration area, you know, people are going to go like, oh, okay, he has a Ghanaian passport, <laughs> and so there must be something fishy. You yeah. know, so um, how that affects us badly, mm. and then also the fact that you know these things still happen in our on our borders, yeah. and 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 people should be educated on it, mm. and, and 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 then see how we can minimize. We can always, we can er eradicate it yeah. totally, but of course minimize it. And, and so yeah, hopefully with the, the full um, uh, package that we'll yeah. be having, uh, we'll, 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 we'll send a message out there. Do you, do you think this movie is going to catch the interest of Anas to begin to look that direction? <laughs> Well, I mean, at the end of the day, we, we, I hope it catches everybody who, <laughs> you know, has, has something um, you know, who, who can use this material for, 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 to, to sort of beef up um, their work. And, okay. you know, because ultimately we want it, want it to make an impact. And mm -hmm. for it not just to be an entertainment piece, but also um, to send a message out there and inform, inform people of, of what, what really, really is happening, um, you know, in our country and on our continent. Okay. Yeah. Would, you, would you say it's expensive to produce um, such an action movie in Ghana here as compared to the regular, what mm -hmm. you used to? It is. That is why most producers or directors <laughs> will hesitate, you know, going to the action genre because yeah. it's, it's, it's 
time consuming it's, it's also demanding in terms of the cost implications of course if it's time consuming and you know bringing on stunt directors etc you know all these guys are going to be paid yeah. um, and so for the director who thinks that oh, look let me save some costs I'd rather do a love story yeah. you know? so you know it, it's, 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 that, it's that expensive it's, mm. it's, it's costly I see um, but uh, don't you also think that it can be a measure you know um, to get more investors showing interest in our movie industry mm. Because if this would require our attention mm -hmm. to details and to get it right yeah. and to also observe um, what is standard, right. um, shouldn't it be the norm instead? Yeah, I mean, look, I always say that, look, it doesn't even matter what genre it is, whether mm -hmm. it's action, whether it's comedy, whether it's whatever. Um, if, you, if we're putting up a material out there, product out there, it has to be really good. You know, all all aspects should be good from from acting mm -hmm. to directing to whatever equipments that are being used, and yeah. um, the skill has to has to speak for itself. Mm -hmm. And and so um, once we do that, and we have a pro product to sell, you know, somebody out there would, would say that, oh, this is an opportunity for yeah. me to invest and make something mm -hmm. out. And so it's it's how well we brand ourselves mm -hmm. for people to come in. And I would say that this that the work starts with us. Sure. You know, in the beginning, yeah. um, and not always trying to say, oh, what, what is government doing? What is the private um, bodies doing? Yes, we need their help, but we have to put our act together first. Charity uh, begins at home, kind of. Uh, <laughs> let me just pause briefly and read a few messages coming okay. through. Um, this says, Pusha, I really thank God for your life. Growing from strength to strength, act okay. always acting professional. And that is coming from Paul Amankwa in Dan Suman. Kobe in Tema says, um, Hi Gladys, I can't wait to hear what Bukom Banco said. Uh, you look as usual uh, from Kobe. Okay, Kobe, thank you so much. Um, this, Mr. Peter, uh, your movie is really interesting. I can't wait to see it. And that's coming from Razak in Wulensi. Thank you, Razak. Pusha is also equally anxious to let you see what he played uh, in Cartel the Genesis. Pusha, I'm one of your fans. I never knew you are called Peter. Are you called Peter? No, I'm not. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> gave me that name. <laughs> okay, so um, keep on doing your best. We love you. And that is coming from Jifa in Akachi. <laughs> so Thank Jifa, you. he's not called Puta, uh, <laughs> Peter. <laughs> Okay, but wh why did uh, why the name Peter? Why did the person decide to give I, you I that? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I look like a Peter, you know. <laughs> but what, do you have an English name? Um, on on paper. What is that? On my best certificate, but what I is won't that? tell you. Not on air. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. You, you should share. I, I believe you are not one of the northeast, <laughs> southwest kind of names. Well, I, I, I have things that I share. Not, not, <laughs> not your name. <laughs> <laughs> Why? But what made you shy away from your uh, the no, name? Not shy paper? away. I mean, I just thought that you know my my identity sounds better than that. Ah, uh, okay. So it goes with um African identity, your Ghanaian yeah, identity. Well, kind of. I'll, I'll agree to that. But uh, you, you see, uh, many people see um. Things we do for love for, for most of the people who watched mm. Things We Do for Love right. and they saw the push oh pusher and you right. know the hanky goes right. like that. Uh, felt that um that was the pusher. Mm -hmm. And so in real life when we meet you and you calm, we uh, it's sometimes it, it's a bit confusing because you are almost compelled to go push oh pusher and then yeah. the reaction doesn't come. <laughs> um it, it, were you just acting or it, there was a turning point? Well, I mean, I, I saw a, a character that was larger than life, you know, mm. and I thought that, look, um, extra work, I need to do much work in order to breathe into the, this character. And so um, it was just acting, you know, um, I really worked hard towards that. And, okay. and you know, so um, even though there were similarities with us, you know, with uh, the pranks that we play in school and all yeah. that, but... Um, and nothing close to that character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. But it was an interesting character. Um, well, but let's come back to Cartel the Genesis. Um, right. Would you say um, playing after playing the active role you mm -hmm. did in mm -hmm. the movie, it has influenced what roles you want to go for in, in the near future? Well, I think that action is, is always when done well. You know, always is something that you always want to go back to. Um, provided you don't damage, <laughs> you know, a part yeah. of your, your body. But then it, it's, it's always exciting, okay. um, um, you know, and especially when, you know, it's always a good against evil yeah. or good against bad guys. And you want to see the good ones always, um, you know. But then the thing with, with this is that you never can tell. Mm. Um, but, but, but again, if, if it's, it's, it's an area where if, if we have the skill and training, 
you know, it we would we, 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 we'll make grounds, you know, because people are, are, are almost ready to compare, you know, what we, we do with, with the outside world because they, they, they do it very well. But I'll say that, look, this is an opportunity for us to even improve on what we've done. Um, it is good as it is, and I, 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 you, you see it. If you see it, you, 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 you tell. And yeah. So, yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll move from that level to mm. another. Okay. The next, um, the, the next thing I would want us to take a look at is um, we don't have many children featuring, um, uh, for children centered um, stories, stories in Ghana here. We don't even have children movies to, you know, draw in the children. Um, is anybody at all taking a look at that in the industry? I, well, I, I'm not a producer yet. <laughs> um, I don't know whether they are, but you know, it's 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 a point that it's something that you know really, really our industry needs. I think that um, when we're growing, we shouldn't leave the young ones mm -hmm. out there because there's also a place for them in the industry, yeah. um, whereby we can speak to them through the medium that we 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 we're so passionate about. And so probably it's it's an eye opener um, for mm -hmm. producers out there who are listening, mm -hmm. um, directors and. And so that we, we also not leave these young ones around because, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, some time to come, we're going to hand over to these ones and yeah. um, they have to be in a very good position to, to, to sort of uh, continue to carry on that. Mm. Uh, All right. Thank you so much, Pusha. Thank pleasure. You. Pleasure. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's always a pleasure to have you on the White Carpet. We look right. forward to having you again. Um, and I'm, I'm sure at that time, I'm not, I'm not sure if it will be another action movie, <laughs> but it definitely will be the one that you don't want to reveal yet. But... Our fingers are crossed. Thank you so much, yeah. Pusha. Pleasure. All right. I, 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 don't, I keep calling him Pusha, but of course, his name is Ajite Anan, um, <laughs> a.k.a. P a P Peter. Let me just slang a bit. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> All right. So, um, Bukum Banku says that he had no reason to complete school because his was not in the classroom, but of course, in the blows. Yeah. But to the extent that even if he, uh, he comes after you, a woman, and you don't like him, but you don't make it clear to him you don't like him. And you make a mistake of spending one CD from um, Bukom Banku, he go blow you. Well, but he's been telling us why he beat up his teacher uh, to get out of school. We are not going to school before. Uh, it be my English. If he telling me he talk English, when I talk, you don't hear. Hear. If he hear, I don't hear. I don't care. I'm not a graduate. I'm not a student. I'm not a university. Only bossing and music. Banku eba. Aye se kaku pa. The time I go to school, me I don't know book inside very much. You always teacher want to beat me. Now I'm a good fighter. And the time teacher take uh, care to come and beat me. I'm also given the three punches. What they sat me on the school. That time I did from one. JSS one, but in learning, I don't know book inside. So, have, have you regretted that you didn't complete school or you didn't finish school? Oh, me, I not finished with school, but I me, I don't like school too much. Only bossing, what? Only bossing is my job. I don't like it too, too much. If I hear English correct, where are they go? If I know book inside, where place are they go? Huh? <laughs> God, God, I created the word before they born Jesus Christ. Eh, everybody in the future. If you hear English, I don't hear English. We are woman be. No motherfucker. Eh? Say Bankumba. Like eh, Ghana, I'm the creativity. Eh? Nobody. Well, but you know he's been promoting his single, Anyemi, and he says that song is going to be an award winning track come 2016 at the uh, Music Awards, uh, Ghana Music Awards, in um, sometime April next year. I believe myself, my name is Brahma Kamoko, aka Bukomba. I think the music, I'll take a word. Me, I the write the music, and my people, the future me very well. This is a new funny. And Kijeru, we are the creativities. A man can never be careful unless he buy a new car and a white shirt. And the people with that community, this society, no Kwaduba, I'm the best musician in Ghana. Straight, Yo, 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 yo. 
What are their names? <laughs> Gladys Duro. Gladys Duro and Utobia and Nora and Stella Tete. How many children so far? Ten. People then, uh, uh, then almost I will <laughs> oh. I will make reserves. <laughs> <laughs> because when I play the football, somebody Maybe leg or hand, I will change. You understand? Me woman, me a me woman, woman like me too much. Oh, I think say be my future. Oh, I don't. They like me. Oh. Well, um, pretty pretty soon I have this check, and um, these your guys, of course, all towards winning souls for Christ. Real step on the white carpet, and you would you, it, it's a clear evidence that this modern day style of worshiping God to make it, uh, you know, it's the hip hop kind. Yeah, I don't know how else to put it, but hey, hey, yeah, worshiping God is just refreshing, it, it's so uplifting, and that is what we're going to do in a few minutes to come right here on the white carpet. But of course, keep your messages coming through the number. Is zero two six seven eight four four zero two four because I have a mobile award winning gospel artist all the way to Ghana to celebrate gospel music with us here on the white carpet in the person of Rachel Kerr. Of course, she is not coming alone, she's going to be on with preachers. So, you have a good idea. We're going to be dancing, doing lots of singing and dancing right here on the white carpet. Don't go away, but first. Let me say thank you to Optimal Hair Relaxer and Airtel. Right, so this is the moment we're going all hip hop, -y, all gospel to celebrate. Uh, the, the reason why we are still alive. I don't know why you are still alive, but at least I know that I have the grace and that is why I continue to breathe in free of charge. I don't pay for the air I breathe in. You also do not pay for what you breathe in. And so is everybody here right now. I have been joined by a mobile award winning gospel artist. Uh, I, I really, really appreciate her time here. I'm really touched and I feel blessed already. And of course, not just her, I also have preachers. So it's, it's a, a kind of a Ghana foreign collaboration and I'm going to have to say welcome to them but they, their response should not be thank you. Their response has to actually go musical. Hey, welcome. Hey. 
<laughs> Rachel, welcome to the White Carpet. So it's nice to have you. So that is Rachel Carr. Uh, Rachel Carr. I also almost said Rachel Carr. You know, Carr is gone. <laughs> of course, Carr. Um, Rachel Carr. And of course, the preachers. Um, Bibles up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> nice to have you again on the White Carpet. Yes, you, we feel yeah. good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. So can we just go one freestyle? Go ahead, take us home. Oh, it's easier to blend in, but I stand out. A man up, I kind of need me some handcuffs. Because devil see me, devil Lambo. Hands up, drill the enemy to the got nothing up the sleeves. Tank top, and I only will oppose anything. I want to stand in the way between me and my God. Like David, I've been taking on my clothes on the praise of the Lord. And you believe what I say? I'm mad. Michael Jackson wasn't even that bad. Give me the mic and you'll see how bad. Because I'm spitting out the reason I will live in a will and take a bullet to the day I'm dead. That's right. Would you want to? What you want to counter that? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, Let's go. This. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next time. Next time. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> it really, really is a privilege to yeah. have you. Um, let me start from Rachel. Um, what are you doing in Ghana? I am here. Um, I was doing a few shows, a few appearances, but most importantly, I was here mm. because of an initiative that's very close to my heart. Okay. Called UGCY, which is the University Gospel Choir of the Year. Uh, okay. That's been launched, and yeah. um, we were doing that yesterday and officially launching it. So mm. really excited to be a part of that. I see, and I, I guess preachers have a hand in that one already. Yes, exactly. Yeah. We are part of the team. Okay. So, um, Yesterday at the launch, we, we both ministered on the same platform, and it was yeah. a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it was a lovely night. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was the launch of UGCY Africa, actually. Wow. Okay. Yes. Um, what's new, preachers? What's new? Yes, um, we've been on tour, um, a high school tour. Okay. That's been our major project for the year. Yeah. And we shot a new video to a ah. surprise video for our fans. <laughs> you didn't bring uh, that video to me for your fans, but you left me out. Oh, <laughs> because we but don't I have guess that you have it now. Here. Crazy. Crazy. Ah, yes. okay, then I have crazy. Okay, so let's get crazy. <laughs> and when we come back, we continue with this conversation. Okay. Crazy, um, crazy from preachers, of course. Uh, what went into crazy? Why crazy? First of all, it was shot by Pascal. Pascal, Pascal, Pascal Aka. Aka. Okay. Yeah, Aka. and he's known for unconventional things. <laughs> 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 so it's crazy. We thought we'll send it to him. Whoa. Yes. But let's let's let, let's. Sure. So crazy. <laughs> let's get crazy now with preachers. <laughs> Bibles up. A melee in the hospital. A belly in the grave. Grace has made it possible for me to see the day. Now what am I supposed to do, man? I ain't here to play. If they're thinking I'm irrational, then I am here to say. It's seriously crazy. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> seriously crazy. Uh, wh why on earth would Pascal even think just one for a gospel music video? <laughs> um, Pascal, as Eddie said, you know, yeah. he's known for anything. I mean, and he's a crazy guy. I mean, he's fun to work with. Yeah. And so, I mean, when 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 the tune came in, and then we decided to shoot the video, yeah. it was the first person who came in. Wow. So, uh, have Have you experienced him? I haven't yet. I'm looking forward to just by seeing his work. <laughs> 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 Don't video. Good. Okay. Uh, but Richard, let's also talk about hold my hand. Mm -hmm. um, you also are kind of into this kind of unconventional videos for your gospel tracks. Absolutely. Um, let's let's uh, also take a snippet of. Um, Rachel's Hold My Hand. When we come back, we'll she will tell us more about that one. That is 
was a fantastic performance and uh, you, you were telling me you did this a couple of um, months or years? Yeah, yeah, it, it was a while ago, like even okay. watching it, it's okay. nice, it's like, well, I haven't seen this in ages. Yeah, <laughs> no, but you still haven't changed and the, oh. that performance is something else. Can you give us a live studio feel? Oh, wow, okay, no pressure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I could be a big bad movie star. Yeah. Let's click with me. Mm, yeah, yeah. With money and awards and a shiny car. Oh, yeah. Mm. I could travel across the world in a limousine. Yeah, yeah. But if you ain't by my side, that one doesn't mean, mm, yeah. Hold my hands, hold my hands, hold my hands, hold my hands. Cause I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. Yeah. So obviously, you are nothing without him. <laughs> we are all <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> okay, but um, you, you've been, um, this is your first time in Ghana. Yes. Um, yeah. How has the experience, like, uh, what are you taking with you? I am taking, I wish I could take the sun with me. <laughs> <laughs> but the people have been amazing. I'm telling all, a lot of my friends are Ghanaian. Okay. And the hospitality, I can see where it comes from. The yeah. smile the humility of spirit mm. um, just the hospitality has been amazing wow. I, you'll be lucky if you get me to go back I'm just thinking of ways <laughs> to stay for longer <laughs> but um, it's been amazing I see and I believe you have wonderful hosts as preachers um, who are going to tell me is there anything new yet for yeah, Drop so that's right here before you go. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So, um, all for you will be coming out mm. the next week, which mm. is my new single. All for you. Um, but all my media, social media platforms will show that. So it's at Rachel Kerr Music, and everything will be showing that. But verse. right now, oh, you are all for us. So it's drop that's right here on the white carpet before you go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I, I, no pressure. Drop it. No pressure. <laughs> Again, drop you know, it. Part two. <laughs> <laughs> Just a line would do. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. All for you. Ooh, 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 ooh. All for you. Hmm. <laughs> thank you, thank you for sharing. This is really spicy. Thank I look you. forward to it. Preachers, um, after crazy, how crazy are you getting? <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, the. The entire crazy concept um, was actually uh, derived from our lives in our ministry. Mm. Like uh, we've been in existence for uh, in existence for six years now, and yeah. the sort of resistance we faced bringing a new face to um, yeah. gospel music in the country. You know, we put that all together, and then we wanted to tell people how crazy we were for God. You know, yeah. we were definitely going to um, uh, fulfill the assignment that He's given yeah. us regardless of all the hurdles and all of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are just going to go through and then use our potential to serve God. Mm -hmm. Just like David's dance, you know, in yeah. my flow yeah. somewhere, I said, like, David, I'll be dancing and I'll take off my clothes and all of that. So that's the sort of craziness that we wanted to yeah. okay. uh, say. That's a message of craziness that we wanted to say. Wow. Gospel got crazy <laughs> and preachers <laughs> are the only ones who got us crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much. It really, really is getting exciting. I wish this is not ending now, but yeah. uh, it's, the clock is ticking. I don't know who's yeah. who pushing so it fast. so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. I couldn't reach you to do the high five. Thank you. Hey, we'll do it yeah. in the air. <laughs> but you can. There Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, this has been a gospel hangout session. I really, really. Uh, Fall of anointing, and tomorrow Sunday, you can imagine I'll go and pray on top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm closer to heaven. In a moment, I have our critics joining us to critique all the issues. Don't go away. <laughs> Well, I don't know why David is today. I'm sure he's behind um, the clock. I need Anas to come and investigate that for me because he's pushing the clock so shh, like that. <laughs> well, I have been joined by Chris Corney. He is an entertainment enthusiast. And Chris 
is going to help me through with the issues. Hey, it's been a beautiful week, I guess. You shadow? I make the shadow. Eh? Challenge, <laughs> challenge, challenge. Today, pressure. The guests who are coming, I had to really, really Maybe match. So. Yeah, uh, so, no. Keeping up with the standards. <laughs> sure. But you know, um, no tribe has still not received their promised... Um, what? Kantanka car. Kantanka car. Yeah, um, actually, I've been following this, you know, this issue. Mm -hmm. Sorry to say issue, but that's the reality of the yeah. matter. I think it's been going back and forth. At a point, Lot said, uh, a boy invited them to go mm. inspect the car. Then, the, you know, the people who are handling the car says, asked them what color. They tell them, okay, any color. Now, Daddy Bosco, who's PR for Musica, has granted a couple of interviews and categorically stated no tribe wanted some specification. And yeah. that's what's keeping, you know, that's what's dragged the whole issue. But then Nasi came out today, actually, on one of the mm. entertainment programs to okay. say it's it's a lie. We've never asked for anything. Music has failed to give us what they promised, and mm. you know. And I think they claim they are coming out with a statement in a couple of days to just state their position and their disappointment about this whole thing. It's rather unfortunate, but I want to believe both parties who, at the end of the day realize what is at stake yeah. not to damage up their brands and just make sure what is expected ought to be done yeah uh, I, let, let's talk about the um you know um we had pastor paul uh the movie the first american nollywood movie have you seen that no not yet uh -uh. okay well it was premiered and you know viewers were confused and they actually complained but the director says that is the whole idea but the bit that actually interests me most is the fact that they had a concert attached to the event and Yapono artist got on stage and he was actually sacked off the stage. Why? Because he did not take his prayer rehearsals before the event. <laughs> uh, I think it's high time we need to get serious when it comes to arts and entertainment in this country. Most of the practitioners over the period have not been that professional. You give an artist or a musician say five o'clock to come for rehearsal or to have a dry run for a main event the person does not show up mm. then the person rocks up in the evening for the show you expect the person to do two two performances the person goes out to be doing three or four yeah. it drags the whole production mm. then audience will lambast Event okay, organizers. organizers. So I think it's a step in the right direction. Mm. It's setting precedence. But he was angry because he says, after all, he was also doing this for free. So I think they should have found a balance. But mm. whatever it is, what you agree to, you make sure you stick to it because it's it's business. It's you, they've invited people to come there mm. and do what they have to do. So at the end of the day, let's respect each other. Mm. It should be mutual respect and understanding. But what do you make of viewers being confused and the director saying, well, that's the whole idea? Creativity. Sometimes followers don't understand concepts and artistic mm. you know, principles. It happens sometimes. I see. Well, <laughs> I, I, I would want to just uh, take uh, that story. And when we come back, we talk something else. <laughs> The movie Pastor Paul, which was premiered in the open at the Alliance Francais here in Accra, according to the director and the lead character, Pastor Paul, tells a story of a white tourist in West Africa who is possessed by a ghost after acting in a Nollywood movie and stars one love the Kobolo and Funsho Ogundipe of the acclaimed Afrobeat jazz band Ayatoro. <laughs> According to him, the inspiration for the film was conceived in 2012 after the director noticed that Nollywood movies often depict various traditional African practices, including the activities of priests and priestesses. I didn't understand it. Maybe I was just excited because one lobe was part, but that's, that's about it. Honestly, um, I was pretty confusing. I really didn't get. I mean, as far as plots go, I didn't get the plot. Yes. I think what the directors were trying to do is recreate a film to show how they feel when they watch like Nollywood films or Kumawood films. Like they don't get all of it. So in a sense, now we watching this one, we don't understand everything that's happening. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to leave you confused. That's part of why we made the film. 
If you leave with more questions than answers, we've done our job. Well, as, as we say in Pastor Paul, you're, we are dealing with unseen forces, so we'll just have to let the spirits tell us what to do next. The premiere was followed by a concert which saw performances from Jules David, <laughs> One Love the Coppola, and many more artists. Well, so uh, that's the whole idea. So they are, they, when they watch us, they are confused. They are so. <laughs> so that's the depiction yeah. they give us, and we are equally confused. They achieved their aim. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, uh, well, um, today I don't know what happened to the time. It just went like that. Yeah, let's, let's come back to next week. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. Chris, thank you so much. Thank you thank very thank much, you. Gladys. And yeah. where are you off to from here? Yeah? Of course, um, there's a, um, the Daddy Lumba birthday concert, so I, I'll pass through there. Of course, Kiki Jan is being celebrated at the Alliance Francais. I'll take you along. And there's also <laughs> the Fashion Awards happening at the Mervyn Peak Hotel. So, and of course, Neil Ante is also doing the reggae cover for any song at all. And this time, they are celebrating Rihanna. And so, you can also come along with me. I'll take you around. Tonight is a very eventful. Trust me, I'll take you all there. It's been a pleasure coming your way with today's edition of The White Carpet. My name once again is Gladys Osei Oredu. You can always watch a repeat of The White Carpet on Sundays at 8 p.m. right here on Joy News on Multi TV. And thank you and congratulations to you, famous uh, Mr. and Mrs. Atishogbe. Today you, you wedded your beautiful wife. Enjoy the marriage to the brain. And of course, Amaturé, bless and tense. Thank you all. Thank you. <laughs> The White Carpet was brought to you by Airtel, the smartphone network.